that. I'm not entirely sure where it goes. swing across this wall now onto the front wall. Do you remember that bit? It's quite steep and you reach around the corner of this front wall and then it's massive great hole. And then do I traverse horizontally out right? Yeah. Along the, that little breaky thing? Through the brake line. And your feet on the next bump down. And then round the corner there's massive great big rough jugs. Yeah, and then is it just straight up? Pretty much straight up. I remember when she set off on the blue sky a couple of years ago and disappeared around the corner, I was gripped. So she hadn't done that much placing of gear. Um, it's okay when I can see her, but um, I'm a lot more confident about her abilities now. What? I've not put anything in. And she's a lot stronger, you know, if she did get into trouble, she could hang on and get gear in. And she's technically quite capable of climbing most things around here. But no, that first time I have to say I was pretty scared. But I, I'd done little bits when I was like six and seven and started going climbing quite a lot when I was about eight or nine. I found it quite scary when I first started, but slowly became more relaxed with it.
had a bit of trouble placing the gear because I haven't really done it in quite a while. I'm mostly climbing indoors really because it's hard to get out. It's a fairly similar standard indoors nowadays, aren't we? Got a bit of catching up to do outdoors, yeah. Yeah. But it's only a matter of time. When you get to the top of the route and you've been dead scared on it and then you think, wow, oh, I just like, I just climbed that. That's like the main thing really. I don't know whether I would have started if Dad hadn't been a climber. I might have done, but that's the main reason why I did. It's vertical but, you know, it goes at a reasonable standard. And you can get into some fantastic terrain and get out. It's the nature of the rock on blue sky. It's just amazing, isn't it? You know, it's covered in jokes, isn't it? Yeah. You can't use all the holds. Sometimes it's just perfect a day like today when the rock's dry, the sun's warm, and a nice breeze. Uh, there's just miles and miles of brilliant climbing to be done here. I'm all for keeping the cliffs as clean as possible. I don't think people should use chalk on Pembroke cliffs. And to me, Pembroke is the epitome of adventure climbing. And to me, adventure climbing is starting at the bottom and finding your way to the top using your strength, your skill, and your guile to get your way to the top of the cliff, not following, following somebody else's horrible white splodges. And even more basic than that, I just don't think we should leave litter around the place. I think leaving chalky dab marks all over the cliffs is like leaving a crisp packet at the top of the crag. I point out at times, you know, I've done routes here where the friction has been ruined by a build-up of chalk. I think that's just stupid. You know, people use chalk to increase the friction, but they don't clean it off after them, and then the friction gets reduced. When, when I do use chalk, I don't put masses of it on and fill the holes with it. I just sort of like put it on and then blow off the excess. And I don't, I don't really use a, a lot of it. Good.
Okay, Hammy. comes when uh, I don't I don't want to come to Pembroke for a weekend climbing. That's something I look forward to in the future. And, you know, if I can't climb hard routes, I'll come here and climb easy routes. And I'm quite happy. Uh, I'm looking forward to the day when uh, Hazel can uh, take me up routes. <laughs> <laughs> 